Brothers Keeper is a story that revolves around two twin brothers, Andy and Pete, that grow up in the 1950s in a small town called Bainbridge, Georgia. Marker. This compelling film encompasses elements of suspense, comedy, action, tragedy, redemption, but most importantly, it's a story about forgiveness. They say that time heals all wounds, but I don't completely agree with that. I think that love is the answer. Andy and Pete couldn't be any more different. Uh, Andy is a troubled youth who has no real focus in life. He has a strong urge to consistently protect his brother. As the two boys grow older, Andy is labeled as the troublemaker or the bad apple, and Pete excels at everything that he does. And while Andy has a ton of potential, no one really seems to give him the benefit of the doubt. As they approach their high school graduation, Pete has big plans to marry Maggie, the love of his life, and head off to school to become a preacher. Andy, on the other hand, doesn't have much of a relationship with God. As a matter of fact, he doesn't have a relationship with anyone outside of his brother Pete. Andy kind of looked at his brother Pete as an idealist or a dreamer. He could only see people for what they are, not for what they could be. This notion is really put to the test when Gordon Lee Master begins to harass the brothers. What's your bid, Lee Master? <laughs> Don't. Well, I like all the my character Gordon is an extremely arrogant guy. He is the son of the wealthiest man in town and he always gets what he wants. He also hates Pete and Andy. What's sad is to see a cheap leather jacket on a nosebleed. Would you pick up some old fashioned tips from the city jail? You don't have to take it out on poor old me. Well, Andy, maybe I hate you both. Now Gordon has always had a crush on Maggie Malloy who loves Pete and for the first time in his life doesn't get what he wants. What does Pete have that I don't have, huh? Due to a terrible twist of events orchestrated by the most powerful family in town, the Lee Masters, not only does Pete not get engaged to Maggie, but he ends up in jail framed for murder. I did not kill Maggie. And I know for a fact that you ain't gonna find anything to make me do it. All right, so you wanna do this the hard way, do you? He begins to wrestle with his emotions and question God about this cruel twist of fate that he's been dealt. All the while, Andy relentlessly struggles to find a way to help his brother, even if it means coming to peace with God and abandoning his hopes for revenge. Ginny is like the Judas of the story in the sense that she idolizes Maggie. She, she adores Maggie and um, envies Maggie's looks. I'd kill to have a dress like yours. <clears throat> Her judgment gets a little bit clouded and she she ends up making some some really bad choices. I saw Peter Goodwin uh, crouching over Maggie's body with his hands around her throat. My character knows all about bad choices. I played the role of Ray Burnside. He's a young African-American inmate doing time for an unspecified crime. The comment that he makes in the prison is what really drives Pete over the edge. It's that moment that really defines what the film is about. What you reading there, boy? He ain't gonna help you in here. Keep walking. Brothers Keeper takes moviegoers on an incredible journey through Georgia in the 1950s from Main Street to the State Penitentiary, from young love to a heinous crime of fashion, from counterfeit justice to forgiveness forged through pain, from God's mercy to the ultimate sacrifice. There's a saying that we live in the world of the walking wounded. Many of us have a tough time letting go when we've been wronged. And while revenge may seem sweet, Brother's Keeper is a powerful reminder that only forgiveness can truly heal. I read one time about the charm of fishing is that even though you're in pursuit of something that's elusive, it's attainable. It's like a perpetual series of occasions for hope. And you'll never know when hope's going to spring up. Or 
redemption. So we've got this movie. It's completed, ready to go, and we want to share it with you. But there's a problem. It's not your typical big budget Hollywood film with studio backing. What we're asking from you is if you could help spread the word. Join our team and help us get the movie out there. Now we're partnered up with this group called CT. It's a great new concept for independent filmmakers like us. We actually have a way for you to help, and today we are asking you for your help. CT is a win-win for everyone. It gives theaters what they want, you. And it gives you what you want. Great new films to see with your friends and family. It works like this. Go to CT.com and reserve your seats to Brothers Keeper today with your credit card. And pay only when your local movie theater fills up. Maybe you have friends in Boise you think would love the film. With a few clicks, you can gift them reservations to their local theater. And if you don't see your local theater listed, simply start a campaign to bring Brothers Keeper to your city. Go to the website and reserve your seats, and please do it today, as soon as the video ends, please. Because the sooner we fill up each theater, the more screens it'll be on. We would love for you to see this movie, so please tell your friends, tell your family, get the word out, and help us get Brothers Keeper into more theaters. You can help us right now today by reserving seats at CT.com. When a theater gets to 500 seats pre-sold for opening weekend, Brothers Keeper is coming to your town. Yeah, then what is the point? This is about life and death. I'll ruin everything. I'm the studio. You're the perfect one. He didn't do it, he's innocent. As long as you can pull air into your lungs, you've got potential. Potential to help somebody right up to the very end.